Hi, this is Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I have a Baby Girl mini album to share with you that I will be doing a flip through of. I've used lots of gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft products throughout, so be sure to check the description box for a list of all the products used. And also, I will link to Wild Orchid Crafts website, Facebook page, YouTube, etc. I hope you stop by and check out their website. They have lots of new products, and they're always adding products. So I just want to explain this album. This was a custom ordered album. The album is approximately eight and a half by seven and a quarter. And I believe the spine is four, four inches. And I was sent a few pictures of the baby's nursery for inspiration. And the color scheme was gray, pink, white, and gold. And the theme is ballerinas and giraffes. And luckily I was able to incorporate all of that in this album and I was really happy with how this album turned out. But in order to incorporate all the different color schemes, I did use four different paper collections. I normally stick to one collection, but I really wanted to get all of that in this one album so it's special to the parents. So I used Knitwit Collections Tippy Toes, Knitwit Collections Baby's First Girl. I used Echo Park's uh, Bundle of Joy, the girl collection, and lastly I use Simple Stories, Hello Baby. So for the front of the album, this beautiful picture here is actually a picture of a canvas that's in the baby's nursery. So the sweet lady who ordered this album asked me if I could incorporate it into the, the album somehow because it's very special to the parents. So I thought it would be perfect to use as the front cover. So I did back it on some pink cardstock, and then the album itself is white, and I was really happy with how this turned out. This is a 12-page album. Again, you can see it's done in um, white cardstock. I used Nina. I used this gorgeous pink trim for the spine, and then keeping with the gray and pink and white color scheme, I used this, um, I believe this is from Simple Stories. And again, keeping with the ballerina theme, I used some tulle for the closure on the side, which I love how that turned out. So this is a baby's first year album. It goes through the baby's entire first year. So the very first pages are gonna be the newborn pages. Here I use this gorgeous ballerina paper from Tippy Toes. Again, that's a Knitwit Collections paper line. And it went well with the gray. I used um, a large photo mat here so the mom can place the newborn photo right here. And it, this is left open so the mom can slip it right under there. I did use this gorgeous white pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts along with some sweetheart blossoms. And this little ephemera piece is from the Hello Baby Simple Stories. It says, Welcome Little One, and I popped that up. Every page has a pocket to it for journaling cards and photo mats and also a side pocket for a pullout mat. So this I designed on my cameo. It's my favorite bordered edge. And this is a large photo mat. So the mom can place several small photos, one large photo on the front and back. She can journal maybe about the photo or something that the baby's doing, dates she doesn't want to forget. So this album will hold lots and lots of photos. I won't pull all of these out, but they all slide into this side here. So for this pocket page, I believe this is the Echo Park Bundle of Joy, and I added this new arrival with some hearts and this adorable banner. I added this from Simple Stories, backed it on some white cardstock, added some twine to it, and I popped it up with some chipboard. It says, Hello, Baby. And again, I used this gorgeous gray chevron paper for the pocket. So every single pocket, every single page actually, will have a four and a half by six and a half photo mat. So the mom can just place a four by six photo on both the front and back and slide it right into the pocket. And then there's also, I've included lots of journaling cards um, throughout this album. So this one I designed myself. I covered it up with some sticky notes because I have the baby's full name on there. And then the mom can jot down the birthday, the time, the weight, height, hospital, and doctor. I added a little heart with some gray striping and I backed it on some gray cardstock. Again, all keeping within that color theme. So here's a journaling card. These are all from Simple Stories, Hello Baby. This one says expecting you. So the mom can write down something real quick or she can simply just add a photo on the back. This one says your birth story. 
And if there's any of these she doesn't want to use, she can just keep out of the album altogether. Special delivery, again, if something happened or she can tell about the, the delivery, add a photo. And then this one's a four and a half by six journaling card. It says, welcome little one. So an album like this, I think is such a great gift to give because the, it makes it quick for the mom. Just go in, add some journaling and some photos, and then she'll have a completed baby album. So on this side, I want to explain this. I One of the pictures I was sent in the nursery, the mom had, and it looked like somebody had made it for her, so I'm sure it's very special. She had a photo frame, or just a frame, not a photo frame, a frame up on the wall, and it they add a tool to the bottom, like a little ballerina skirt. So I wanted to, again, copy that and incorporate that to tie it all together. So I left the frame open so the mom can just slip in her photo. And after she does, if she wants to add a little glue or double-sided tape to adhere this down, she can. If not, she can leave it open. Again, I did the gray backing to keep in the color scheme. This is from Baby's First um, from Knitwit Collections. And again, I just added some pink tulle with some of that beautiful flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side, the mom has um, some giraffes throughout the room, so I made sure to incorporate some giraffes. This here says Little Angel. I added a white scallop border, some more of those gorgeous sweetheart blossoms from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, this is from Baby's First Knitwit Collections. Here is the photo mat that's going to go in this page. And this here, keeping with the ballerina theme and the gray and the pink, I um, cut this out on my cameo. I added this beautiful ballerina and this where it says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. It's got a scallop edge. And then this is a, I believe this is a Spellbinders bow die. So I, saw, I thought that was very girly, very cute. Every single page will also have a milestone card. This is from Simple Stories. This one here is month one. And it's going to have the date, height, tiny details, precious moments, and weight. So it's really easy because you forget all that stuff very quickly. So the mom can just jot that down when she takes the baby to the doctor, add a photo on the back, and that's perfect. She can also add photos into this pocket as well. So like I said, this photo album will hold tons of photos. These are all going to be from Simple Stories collection. I love that you get so many 4x6 journaling cards or 3x4. This one says, cutest baby ever love the stars and then this one says first bath so again they can take quick photos and pop them on there this is month two i use this adorable elephant this is from a knitwit collections same with the paper in the back the photo mat and then these are from simple stories so they can journal on those. On this side, I this is from Simple Stories. Um, this is as well. So I designed that. Here I added this gold um, tape is what it is. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I thought it was a great way to incorporate because like I said, the nursery is pink, gray, white, and gold. So it goes so well with the gray and the pink. I added that to the edge of my pocket here. I added some more of this flat back white pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts and a little bow. This is a Marianne Designs bow that I had in my stash. And then I also, every single month, has this little um, Simple Stories date or uh, milestone ticket, I guess is what it is. So I added that to every month. Here's the photo mat the yellow uh, chevron, which I love that, some stripe paper, and then this gray goes so well. It says precious moments. Again, these are all perfect to add journaling or just photos on them. Here's the second month milestone card, photo on the back. For month three, I, this is from um, Echo Park's Bundle of Joy, and then this is from Knitway Collections, one of their elements that come in the photo mat. Like I said, every page will have this photo mat. This is from Simple Stories. I love that. Kind of want to offset those slightly. There we go. And on this page, again, Simple Stories, it ties in with that. I added this little element of this 
arrow here and just a tiny strip of DCWV's glitter stack, the gold. Again, added the three month ticket to the top. I believe this is um, Baby's first Knitwood Collections. The photo mat. Here's the journaling cards for this pocket. This one has a little ampersand. First giggle. So the mom can move this to whatever month that happens to be. And then here's the three month milestone. And this I made using my laminator with some gold um, deco art foil. It says, dream big, sparkle more, shine bright. This bow is the Spellbinders bow and I use the DCWV glitter stack. And again, I wanted to incorporate the gold that is in the baby's nursery. So I thought that was perfect. On this side, I used this bottle. This is from Knitway Collections. I added the four month to this side and this gray straight piper that I had in my stash. The photo mat and then the pink stars. On this side, this is the Hello Baby Simple Stories collection. I added a white scallop. The white scallop here is a little bit of a wonky white scallop border. This one's a um, more uniform border. I added some of these blooms from Wild Orchid Crafts. And these centerpieces, I love them. They're actually tacks that I got from Target years ago and I just cut off the back. They're perfect for a baby album. I added this white ivory heart from Wild Orchid Crafts. The back here, this is from the Tippy Toes collection from Knitwit Collections. And as you can see, everything just flows together. It really came together well. My photo mat. Here's a little journaling. And then from the Simple Stories, it says Love Beyond Measure. And then here's the four month milestone card. On this side, I made a little bracket pocket and a mat using the um, Baby's first knitwit collection. I added a little journaling label there and added the five month ticket on top. And also, this beautiful little ballerina dress comes from the Tippy Toes collection from Knitwit Collections. I thought that was perfect to incorporate the ballerina theme. This here is from the Echo Park Bundle of Joy. And then the journaling cards for this page this one says, Love You to the Moon some really pretty paper and then this little heart again perfect for journaling photo on the back and the mom can add more photos to all of these pockets as well if she does if she wants to add a couple more besides these it'll get pretty full when she adds all the photos to the back of these journaling cards on this side I use simple stories I added this element here this little banner flag I use some lace trim in the back and then this flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts added one of the Spellbinders bows and then this little label here is from the Hello Baby Simple Stories it says you and me. This paper in the back I believe this is from the Echo Park um, Bundle of Joy. I have the photo mat and then just this pink stripe paper and then month five. On this side, oh, this I think this is so cute. This is a giraffe I had in my stash. And again, in one of the baby's nursery photos, the mom had a stuffed animal of a giraffe with a little tutu around it. So I wanted to try and mimic that, added a little tutu with some flower pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. And that holds my journaling cards. This is from the Echo Park collection. The little gray striped. And then this, so many of my smiles begin with you. I love simple stories as well. They give lots of beautiful journaling cards. On this side, again, I incorporated some of that gold tape. I added the six month ticket. And then this is the simple stories paper collection. I added this little label on the top there. Use some polka dot paper. This is from, I believe, the simple stories um, color vibe collection. Again, I wanted to incorporate that gray with it. Love this little journaling card. It says, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your in our heart. Winnie the Pooh, heart you, and then month six.
on this side, this is month seven. This is from Echo Parks Collection. This is from Knitwit Collections. I love this little rattle. And then I added the seven month ticket there. And then this baby journaling card, Simple Stories. On this side, this is um, also Echo Parks as well. I added this gold looking trim on the side and then this beautiful flat back flower trim. It's one of my favorites from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, perfect for a little girl album. And I added the wording, you are our miracle. Photo mat. And here's some of the journaling cards. Love you a ton. I saw that in the nursery, the mom had some elephants as well. So I wanted to incorporate a couple elef elephants throughout. And then month seven, milestone. This is from a Knitwit Collections. And then this gray polka dot, I believe, is as well. And I added a little bit of lace to the edge of the little um, onesie here. And that holds the photo mat. On this side, this is from Hello Baby. This is from Hello Baby Simple Stories. And I added this cute little border. This is from, I believe this is um, Echo Parks border. And then I have a little eight month here. And then I used a very thin piece of the DCWV glitter stack to keep that gold throughout. This is also from the Knitwit Collections Ballerina. The Little Tippy Toes is the name of the collection. And then I just have these two journaling cards. It says, first we had each other, then we had you, now we have everything. And then here's the eight, eight month milestone. On this side, I did a corner pocket using that DCWV glitter stack. I used beautiful pink chrysanthemums from Wild Orca Crafts. I think these just are perfect for little girl album. Here's the Echo Park collection, my photo mats little polka dots, and then another little journaling card. From the moment they placed you in my arms, you snuggled right into my heart. Again, perfect to add photos to the back. And then here's that elephant again I wanted to incorporate. I added that with this little arrow baby, and I added some flowers and the nine-month ticket, along with a thin strip of the gold. This back paper here is from the Tippy Toes Knitwit Collection. Um, polka dot paper love the colors again that little elephant and then the nine month milestone card on this side this adorable giraffe again keeping giraffes in the theme this comes from knitwit collections as well as this and it holds my photo map there on this side i add a little label so if the mom wanted to jot something down or just leave it this is from the echo park collection i use some more of that gold tape added the 10 month and then the gray stripe paper in the back so the journaling cards for this love it here's for 10 months on 11 months i designed this in my cameo a scalloped uh, belly band and then i added this pink stripe paper to the middle of it along with this lace trim and this gorgeous flower trim, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used a wild rose in pink mist and two little open ivory roses from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with some rose leaves. And that just holds my two photo mats here. I love this gray one as well. On this side, I used that same gray straight paper that I had in my stash. I added a little arrow from uh, Simple Stories and then a beautiful little white heart from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with some flat back self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have the 11 month ticket up there and to the pocket. This is from Knitwit Collections, Baby's First. I have my photo album. This says first step. So again, the mom can use it, move it to whatever month that took place in. Some adorable chevron stripes. This is the 11 month milestone. And this is from the Hello Baby Simple Stories collection. 
And on the last page here, keeping with the ballerina theme, I used some paper from the Tippy Toe Knitwit Collections. And this adorable little ballet slippers come in that same Tippy Toe Collections. I used that to hold my photo mat there. And lastly, on the last pocket, this is the baby's first birthday. So I added happy first birthday and I have the baby's name here along with this arrow. This is from Simple Stories. These two as well. It says love you tons. I added this gorgeous flat back trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. The mom can add the baby's first birthday photos in this pocket. And this one says first tooth, first word. Perfect for photos. And then the 12 month milestone. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. This was really fun to make. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.